this is Sincerely Sweet. This is what Sincerely Sweet is going to look like when you get it in the mail. It's going to be in this uh, um, plastic uh, mailer, just like this. We do mail it in a poly bag, um, and uh, it will have the label on it that says the name of the bundle, Sincerely Sweet, and also the month and the year. And that's going to be helpful for you um, as, you know, um, especially as you're in the club for a while, when you want to go back and look at past workshops or something, sometimes it helps um, um, to have that information. Okay. So I know some, some people will actually even take this tag off or cut around it and put it on like a little um, shipping tag and put them on a book ring because they like using that as a reference. <laughs> but uh, first I want you to look at the color palette. Look how cute the color palette is for Sincerely Sweet. Now keep in mind, this is a January bundle. So we might be making some, uh, a, you know, a couple love themed type projects from this. Um, but I'd like you to kind of walk you through the fabrics and show you um, exactly what they look like and kind of which was my, there's always one fabric that's kind of my signature fabric. And a signature fabric to me, it's the fabric that grabbed me first, right? Like it's the fabric that I wanted to build the whole collection around, okay? And this truly is sincerely sweet. We, It's just got a sweet feel to it. It's so, so sweet. Um, we're also going to be doing some projects out of this um, that we had a really good time last year doing these little dresses. Does everybody remember, if you're in the Fabric Fan Club, do you remember the little dresses and the little girls, the little people and all the things that we did? Well, I think this falls really um, kind of into that. I feel the sweetness <laughs> of it. So I have some fun projects planned for us. Um, and like I said, we're going to have, you know, we're going to have a couple things in, that are thrown in. Um, um, for, you know, that'll be good for kind of Valentine decor if you like to um, decorate seasonally. Okay. Yes. I know the dresses were so fun. Well, just keep that just, that's just to put a little bug in your ear and, you know, we'll see from there. So um, this was the signature fabric. This was the signature fabric. I love this fabric. Let's zoom in a little bit. I just fell in love with this fabric, you guys. I thought it was so, again, sweet. That's why this, this fabric bundle is named Sincerely Sweet. I love this light. Um, it's almost mint, this kind of light mint color. Um, a little bit of blue, but kind of a, kind of a, I don't know what to call it. It's just kind of a mint color. I really think it's really pretty. And I love how the little pops of this kind of, um, this, there's a deeper red and then there's almost like a corally red in there as well. And the pinks and the whites, it's just so sweet. And then of course the greenery, I love the flowers. You know, we talked about a little bit in our, in our sessions during, um, create and connect about the stitchability, right? About the stitchability. I do want to show you over here how big a fat quarter is. Let me show this to you real quick. So you can see, I mean, this is a big, you know, it's a pretty big chunk of fabric, right? <laughs> um, and so there's lots that we can make out of this. So I'm going to fold this this way so we can kind of lay these out. But look how cute these are. These are going to be so much fun for us to doodle with thread. We're going to be able to add in some color. We might um, do some little stitches in the centers of these flowers or inside these flowers. I just think they're really pretty. So this is kind of where I pulled my color palette from. This is the signature fabric um, for Sincerely Sweet. And um, yeah, I think it is Sincerely Sweet. It's got a little vintage feel to it, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I think so. So cute. So pretty. Okay. Well, as I mentioned, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, I did want to make sure that, um, you know, um, a lot of us decorate for the seasons and we may want to create something that kind of has a little bit of a love theme to it. And so I wanted to make sure that we had a fabric that could help us pull that in. So let me show you this fabric. So this is what I pulled in. Um, little tiny hearts. 
This really pretty pop of red looks amazing in this color palette. So we've got our nice little pop of red. We have the little Swiss polka dot. Swiss dots are really tiny dots. They're so cute. And then sprinkled in, we have the hearts. Okay. So I think it just looks so cute and so pretty. Um, and you're going to like seeing this pop of red with um, our, our bundle here. So let's go ahead. Let's kind of add this in so you can see it is a great combination. We've got our great little combo here. Um, I think these collections, sometimes for me, it's not just about color palette. I mean, it's a lot about color palette, but it's also about patterns, right? I love to mix patterns. And I have heard from the members in my Fabric Fan Club that this is something that's been very a struggle for them. It's been hard for them to just go to the fabric store and try to kind of pull different patterns together. Um, so they love that somebody else does that for them. I I pull the patterns together. Um, I, I love mixing patterns. And, um, and they enjoy that they don't have to do that, that somebody else does that part for them. <laughs> So, yeah, I think it is, again, very sweet. It's got that sweetness to it. Okay, so let me show you the next um, thing that I brought in. Again, this pretty kind of mint color. Um, you might call it even, maybe even like a robin's egg. Um, it's kind of a, um, I don't know, it's just so pretty. So this is what I decided to bring in. Um, I love anything that kind of gives, kind of looks or resembles ticking. Okay, do y'all know what ticking is? It's kind of an old-fashioned fabric, um, but I think it's really pretty. So this was the next fabric that I pulled into our group, and it's this one. This just feels fresh. Doesn't it feel fresh and clean, and there's just something about it, and it kind of has that little... Um, it just, for some reason, it kind of reminds me a little bit of ticking with the three stripes right there close together. I just think it's really pretty. And this brings in, again, this is going to bring in that color for us um, of that kind of mint colored background in our signature fabric here. Isn't that pretty? I love the stripe. I love stripes. Stripes are really fun to work with. Um, so now we kind of have our floral signature piece. We have um, our cute little mini dot and heart piece. And now we have, we're bringing in this mint color again, but this time in kind of a bolder, um, I don't know. I'm not going to say bold. That's probably wrong. Um, but in this stripe, it does feel a little bit more bold, but it's so sweet and fresh and the color is so refreshing that it doesn't really feel like a super bold stripe. Okay. Isn't it pretty? Just the combination right there, right? Like that combination right here is just, uh, I love it. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> I hope you love it too. Um, okay. So next piece, next piece. The next piece I wanted to bring in is I wanted to bring in something with kind of a punch. Okay which means a bigger, bolder pattern. And when I found this, when I was kind of looking through the fabrics in the collection and, you know, all the things, this is the one that I was drawn to. And you guys, again, this has kind of a, a throwback feel because this reminds me of um, sheets <laughs> or wallpaper. <laughs> It's this fabric right here. Does that remind you of like a pillowcase or sheets or possibly even maybe a cute wallpaper that maybe you saw in your in your grandmother's home? <laughs> I think it's so adorable. And I was just like, yes, I want this fabric. So the reason I love this fabric is because now we're going to have these big clusters right? Now I can use this as, as a full-on piece of fabric, but I can also use areas of it if I want a little small section of this fabric to use for something or to make a flower out of, I could. I can use this great big piece. This has great stitchability, right? I can make my own little applique for a project. Even this little guy, look how cute this looks. I shouldn't call it a guy, it's a girl. This is definitely a very girly feminine collection. It looks just like a pretty little bouquet, right? <laughs> 
it's just, I don't know what it is about just pulling these fabrics together. It's just, it's a joy for me. It's just a joy for me to do. And it's so much fun. But do you see kind of what's happening here? I kind of, I don't know if you even care about the process of how I choose them, but this is kind of what I look for, right? I always want something that's kind of the unexpected, the big pop. Um, um, and this is definitely going to be this fabric right here. And we're going to have um, lots of this, this, look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. Okay. So tell me in the, in the comments. Okay. <laughs> yes, we can decoupage with fabric and we have, yes, absolutely. We can. It reminds, okay. Dorothy says, is it Dorothy? Um, oh, the comments are going too fast. Okay. Dorothy was asking about decoupage. Yes, you can decoupage it. Um, someone said, and I lost it here. Someone said it looks like a nightgown. <laughs> Yeah, or maybe a house coat. Remember house coats? Um, I don't know. Something about it reminds me of like an old pillowcase or a sheet set. Um, but I just, there's something very um, familiar about it to me. And I just think it looks very, very pretty together. So again, Sincerely Sweet. I think now you can figure out why um, that's the name. I think you can probably get the gist of kind of how this is coming together um, and <clears throat> kind of where it got its name. Okay. I'm going to take a quick drink. <clears throat> Your grandmother's house coat, Christine. I don't know. I can't pin it down. Like, I just feel like this is so familiar to me, but I'm not sure. Like, you know, obviously something struck a chord in my memory. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, Cheryl says, if I join, would I be able to see how to make the cover for the notepad? Absolutely. You're going to have access to all of the past workshops. Yes. And we've done several different types of covers, um, for notepads, for, um, the spiral, like the steno type pad. We did one for that. We've done quite a few different ones and, um, and yeah, you can make those out of any fabrics that you have. It could be fabrics in your stash if you want. Okay, so we would love for you to come and join us in the Fabric Fan Club. Um, and if you do, this will be your first bundle, this January bundle. So I'm going to go in now and I'm going to show you the fourth fabric. Okay, the fourth fabric that I chose is adding to the color palette. It's adding to the color palette. You can kind of see where we're going with the color palette right here. But do you remember back here on the signature piece? We have some green leaves. We have some green. And so I wanted us to pull in some green with this. If we're going to be doing anything that's floral, it's always a good idea to have some green, whether that's for leaves or, you know, um, other things, viney things, whatever it is that we want to make. And so I chose this fabric. The green is dead on. It just looks so good with the signature fabric. And the reason I liked it is because it reminds me of a trellis. You know, we have a lot of roses going on in this one. We have have little flowers and roses. And so it kind of reminded me of a trellis from a garden. Um, and so to me, it was just the perfect fit for um, Sincerely Sweet. Also, anything that has a pattern like this, it's really fun to stitch these because we could just come in and put like a little French knot in the intersections if we want to, if we cut a, a swatch of this. Also, because we have the lines, we can do some really cute kind of like um, almost like a, a cross hatch kind of stitching, um, just some really fun things. And I also think this could be cute for even for words or all, you know, all the things. So we're going to pop in this green. Um, let me show you how good it looks with the signature fabric. It looks really nice with the signature fabric. OK, really, really nice. So we needed some greens. I love greens too. <laughs> yes, I love greens as well. Okay, so let's pop this one in so that you can see that. So now I'm down to my sixth fabric, okay? So what I try to look for in that final fabric is like, what do I need to kind of just, just to ground this collection out? What do we need? And sometimes for me, it's it has to do with the projects we're going to make. I start thinking about the projects we're going to make. What are we going to do? Um, you know, um, 
Do I need something, you know, a bigger print? Do I need a smaller print? Do I need another print that kind of brings everything together? And so I decided to bring in a smaller print. I mentioned like um, dresses. I mean, you know, we're going to do, like I said, we're going to do some sweetness, some really fun kind of sweet projects from this. Um, so I decided to bring in an, what I consider kind of like a mini print, but it has multiple things in it. So it has the deeper red. It has the kind of corally red. It has the pinks and it also has the greens. And do you see how this just kind of rounded it out? It just kind of rounds it out. We're going to be doing creating um, some applique type pieces on some of the projects that we're going to be making. And this is going to look great. This also could be a really great background fabric for something. So if we're going to make like a little nine by 12 panel, or if we're going to make a banner or what, you know, we make all kinds of things in the group um, uh, or a notepad cover, whatever it is, right? Sometimes it's good to have kind of a, a, a great little mini print that kind of pulls the colors together um, that can serve as a background so that it it's it's interesting, but it doesn't detract from kind of the star of the show, whatever we're putting on it. That's kind of like, you know, that's the focal point. <laughs> and that's the science between, behind how I choose these things. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I just felt like you might want to know kind of what goes into um, pulling these bundles together. Um, and I just think that this one is, is definitely a sweet bundle. Um, I definitely see us using probably some little rickrack and just some fun things like that. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really fun bundle to work with. Okay. So sincerely sweet. It's definitely, we're going to do, um, some, a couple projects that kind of have a love feel. The reason I'm saying love feel is because these, the projects I have in mind are something that could stay out. They don't have to just be for Valentine's. Okay. We put a lot of time and effort into our projects. I want us to be able to have them out and enjoy them um, for, you know, as, as long as we can, this could totally be out, um, throughout spring, right? I mean, it's just, you know, so, so some of the things that'll be kind of themed, um, I'm pulling back a little bit from like Valentine's day. I want you to think more love. Okay. More kind of love theme, but still going to look great if you do decorate for Valentine's. Um, and I also, again, love the color palette. I love this fresh kind of injection of this mint color, this mint color with the reds, with the greens, the crisp white, it just works well. Um, and I just think it looks really, really pretty together. Okay. So how many of you would like to win this bundle? How many of you want to win this bundle? I'm sorry. I have to do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yes. Good, 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 good. So, um, yes, it'll be all six fat quarters will be in the Sincerely Sweet bundle. If you sign up again, your payment will not be charged. You won't be charged. Your payment won't run until January 3rd or 4th, um, 3rd and 4th. And then we're, our goal to ship these out, I believe, is the 7th and the 8th, somewhere right in there um, for um, January. We'll be working with the um, December bundle. So if you are new to us, the December bundle is um, has some really interesting, has some linen pieces in it. You can see this is the heart that I traced um, earlier <laughs> in one of our sessions. And you can see that I've started adding some stitching. I've started doodling in with my threads. Um, I'm going to work on this piece today. Um, I was hoping to be further along with this before today, but this cold, this, this Christmas crowd has kind of got me. So um, yeah, so that's, we're going to be working. It's a really neutral. It's a really fun neutral that you can add your own colors into. So if you do sign up, we're going to give you the option um, um, to grab that bundle as well if you want that long term. And so this is something, let me just say this real quick before I post the winners, uh, before we draw the winners or, or the winner, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to start doing this two bundles a year, two bundles a year are going to be, oh, there go the balloons. Anytime you do two fingers, balloons fly out. I don't know why. <laughs> 
something new out there in social media. Okay, so anytime, um, I really want to have some longer term projects with you. I want to, I want to work on some things that are going to take longer that we can't get done in a month. Um, so I'm dedicating December, the December bundle and the July bundle for those types of projects. Okay. So December and July, um, in, uh, December, 2023, July of 2024, but going forward, December and July, is going to be a bundle that we're going to be working with long term that we'll be working with that we'll have maybe like one workshop a month um, snugged in there where we're kind of moving on like from one step to another, that kind of thing, bigger projects. OK, and then the other bundles for the other months, we'll be making things that will get done during that month. OK. Um, I like to have a long term project working. I like to kind of work on that for a while, put it down pick up something else, work on that for a while, um, that kind of thing. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Um, well, that's what we're going to do this year. We're going to see how that works. Um, and I think it's going to work out really well. Now, I'm not going to tell you what July is going to be. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Um, but yes, I think we're going to have um, a lot of fun. I'm really kind of honing in, I think, finally, um, as to... Uh, how to to really serve the Fabric Fan Club members the best. We we in 2024, every project is going to have a prep sheet. Every project is going to have a guide. Um, we're just going to do that um, as we um, go on because our Fabric Fan Club members have let me know that they really want that because they're not always working on that same project that I am at the time that I'm working on it. So um, definitely want to serve you the best that I can. And um, yeah, it is unique. It, it is fun. We have what's called sew and tell workshops. We have fabric fun workshops. I'm a crafter and a maker at heart. So sometimes I just want to make stuff out of the fabric, right? Um, uh, and those projects won't require um, uh, sometimes minimal stitching, sometimes no stitching at all. <laughs> OK, so we're going to have a lot of fun in this group. I would love for you to join us. Susan Lyles is my teammate here and she is posting the link. She just posted it in the comments where you can go and sign up for the Fabric Fan Club. I would love for you to come and join us. OK. Um, Yes, it's a wonderful group. It, you're going to love the women in this group. They're so encouraging, uplifting, helpful, so helpful, and so super creative, super creative. We just, we just really, it's good to connect with other people that have the same passion as you. It really is. There are people that have met in this group, have never met in person, live on opposite sides of the United States, and some are even international, but they have become the best friends in this group. It's just so amazing to see that happen. Um, and it does happen. And so if you're looking to, to just form connections with other people that have the same likes and the same interests as you, um, I highly suggest joining a creative com community like the Fabric Fan Club. Okay. Yeah, um, the books are 100% hand stitching. Now, that doesn't mean that if you do have a sewing machine and you like to use it, that doesn't mean you can't. You can use it. But everything that I'm doing, I'm doing uh, by hand. It's all hand. Um, I call it freestyle stitching, doodling with thread, um, a very stress-free um, type of whimsical approach to hand stitching. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Kimberly says she loves her Fabric Fan Club friends. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead now. I've talked enough. I'm starting to feel the tickle in the throat. So I probably should go ahead and um, let's draw our winner for today before I start coughing. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to share my screen. All right, here we go. We have 263 entries, 263 people that it has uh, grabbed here. And let's see who's going to win. Who's going to win Sincerely Sweet? I'm so excited. Oh, Debbie Neighbors Whiteman. I love it when it's a name I can actually pronounce. <laughs> Debbie Neighbors Whiteman. Congratulations. You guys give it up for Debbie Whiteman. 
Um, I am so excited for you, Debbie. Um, we do need you to claim your prize. You have won a Sincerely Sweet bundle. So excited for you. So um, you guys give it up for Debbie. Let's congratulate her. And Debbie, we do need you to claim your prize. So what that means is, <coughs> what that means is I need you to um, email us. <coughs> Sorry, just a second. <coughs> I need you to email us at info at misstracycreates.com to claim your prize. We want to make sure we have the right shipping address um, to mail this out to you. We're so excited for you. Um, and yeah, anybody could win. Um, whether you're a Fabric Fan Club or club member or not, anyone can win. Now, if you enjoyed that live giveaway, okay, I'll be back at two o'clock today um, for another Create and Connect session. I'll be back at seven o'clock tonight. Tonight at seven o'clock, I'm doing the Napkin Club reveal. So if any of you are interested in the Napkin Club and you want to see what's in the January Napkin Club bundle, it's called Made with Love. Um, come back and watch tonight. I'll be gift, gifting away uh, live giveaways in both of those sessions. Um, tonight will also be a January bundle for the Napkin Club. Now, there's another giveaway that you need to make sure that you have entered, okay? And it is our grand prize giveaway. It's our grand prize giveaway. And um, it is going to be, we're going to um, draw those winners Saturday night, okay? So Saturday night, we're going to draw those winners, our final session of um, the premiere week, um, where you can bypass the wait list and come and sign up with us, all the things um, and it's going to be, those three people are going to get six months free in the membership group of their choice, in the creative community of their choice. Um, and if they're already a member uh, and they want to use that as, as a credit to pay for, you know, that's fine. Um, how you can use that that credit um, however you want, or it's a great, if you're a member of one club, maybe you want to try another one. Maybe you want to try um, another community you can use that six months for. So whether your members or not, everyone is eligible to win that six months free in um, the, the community or the group of their choice. Okay. <laughs> um. Yes. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. Yeah. My husband came down with it first. I was a couple of days later, um, but we're managing. We're managing. Okay. <laughs> we're managing well. That's why I'm coming to you live from home. I'm actually in my home. This is my craft room at home. <laughs> um, I'm not up at the shop because I don't want to spread this. I don't want to give this to my team um, at all. So anyway, that's why I'm here. Um, the gold metallic fret, uh, are you talking about the gold, Dorothy, are you talking about the gold, um, metallic felt? Um, I know that silver is back in stock. I'm not sure if we've received the gold yet. Um, I will, um, you guys, I will tell you in the group, once you, when you sign up for the Fabric Fan Club and we get you added into the private Facebook group, I will tell you and I'll show you specifically the threads I'm going to be using with Sincerely Sweet, the thread colors. Now you can either, um, you can even use your DMC floss, but I like to show the threads I'm using because that way you can kind of pick and choose from your stash at home um, to kind of uh, match those. And we also have some people that like to purchase those threads from us. The threads I use are these. Um, they're by Sulky. They're 100% um, cotton, 12 weight threads. They are awesome for hand stitching. And I use a number seven embroidery needle. That's my favorite needle. Um, so I'll share in, in our private group, I'll share the threads that I'm using. Um, if there's felts that I plan to use, we do carry a, a nice a ver, a variety of wool felts to coordinate with our fabrics. Um, I'll share that as well. Okay. So she, Susan just posted the grand prize uh, giveaway link. So if you haven't gone in and done that, please make sure and go in and uh, click that sign up for the grand prize giveaway. Okay. And congratulations again to Debbie Whiteman um, for winning the Sincerely Sweet bundle. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. I'll just hold the label here right on top of this and then I'll fold it all up and put it back in here. 
<laughs> I'm glad you signed up too, Priscilla. We really do have the best time in this group. And uh, thank you so much for watching the session today. Um, I was going to just let you, it, we have like 10 minutes left. If anybody has any questions for me, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and post them. Um, if you don't have any questions, then I'll just, we'll call it, call it um, a day and I will rest up for the two o'clock session. <laughs> Yes, so much fun. Um, the other thing I probably should have told you about um, the Fabric Fan Club is we do have some, I made some little short videos, little, just tiny short, maybe, I don't know, five minute, 10 minute videos on different stitches that we'd use quite often um, on projects. So even if you come into the group and you've never touched a needle and thread before, there's some great little videos in there to kind of give you um some practice. You can kind of go in and practice some of those stitches, things like that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. How long do, where did that question go? Someone asked a question about the discount code. Okay. Yeah, we do have a VIP. Um, that's our kind of our shopper loyalty program for our online shop. If you sign up to be a VIP, you're going to get an email right away, Audrey, and there'll be a code. Actually, I think you have to confirm the, it's kind of like a, it's considered like an annual subscription. So you'll have to confirm this subscription. I believe that's the first email you get. And then the second email, I believe, is the code. You'll have a, a, a shopping code that you'll put in every time you shop and it will take your discount off um, for being a VIP member. Okay, for that shopping loyalty. So check your email. If you don't get it or it doesn't show up in your inbox, just email us and we'll make sure that you get that code. We'll verify it. Um, all right, let's see. Napkin Club reveal will be tonight at 7 p.m. I see Kimberly's question for that. 7 p.m. Central. Uh, yes, are there embroidery stitches? Yes, there are. I'm going to, this is a good question. Okay. Yes, there are embroidery stitches. However, everything I do is kind of in this freestyle manner. Um, I, it's it, like I said, it's a little bit more of a whimsical approach to hand stitching. Um, like, you know, if I'm doing a back stitch, I don't, it doesn't bother me if my stitches aren't all the exact same size, right? So some, it was, we're using some basic embroidery stitches, but we're kind of doing it in a freestyle way in, um, we're doodling more, um, with this. We're not trying to be so specific and precise. Um, and it's just a beautiful, um, way to stitch. I mean, it, it really truly is. It's just so much fun um, to just come in and, um, you know, take take the approach of this kind of freestyle type method, a little more doodly. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you do need to put your VIP code in every time you order for the shopping loyalty discount. Yes. Um, can we see the threads for this fabric? I don't have them right here with me, but I will be showing you and sharing that in, um, the fabric fan club soon. Um, here we go. Do you get a discount on things in the shop? If you sign up for the fabric club? No, the, um, the, that VIP thing is just like a shopper's discount for those that shop in our online store regularly that, that, um, you will get that discount. Now, if you do sign up for the VIP, okay, anybody can sign up for that. You don't have to be a club member to sign up for that. But if you do sign up for that, it's going to get you 15% off of your, your product purchases. So if you are a club member, you can go back in and buy past fabrics. You'll get that 15% off. So you don't necessarily, it's not really necessarily tied to being a fabric fan club member. It's more tied to signing up to be a VIP shopper. Okay, a VIP, it's like a, a shopping loyalty discount, but it will count towards any fabric that you would buy, threads you would buy, felt you would buy. The only thing it doesn't go towards are kits, workshops, and the actual club fee or, or group fee itself. Okay. 
Yeah, the VIP membership is a one-time charge. It's once a year. It's $45 to sign up for that. And then um, your discount starts immediately and you do have a special code you'll have to put in um, to get that discount. And it's only, it's going to take the discount off of the things that are eligible. You don't have to worry about like what's eligible or what's not. It's going to take it off um, for you automatically. Okay. So I hope that helps. Okay. Let's see. Rita says, how do I get to the place to sign up for the fun fabric club <laughs> for the, uh, the fabric fan club. Yes. Susan, would you post another link um, in here for Rita um, to sign up for the fabric fan club? It's so much fun. I'm so glad you want to join us. That's awesome. Um, yes, Debbie, we I don't, um, I know that the uh, gold felt was on back order, but I'm not sure exactly when it's going to come in. I'll, I'll have to double check with my team about that. Kimberly, thank you for saying this. She says, every stitch is easy to learn and we don't grade your stitches. No, ma'am. <laughs> you know what? Here's why we don't. When I was young, I had a grandmother that crocheted and oh my gosh, the stuff she made was wonderful. It was so pretty, but, and I wanted to learn how I wanted to learn so badly, but I couldn't hold my crochet needles exactly the way that she held hers and she was constantly making me start over and start over and all these things. And I finally, I just got, I was just like, mm, I don't want to learn this bad. <laughs> and I stopped. Um, so I've always kept that in my mind that I don't want anyone um, um, to stop. You know, we have to do, we have to, we have to do things in order to get better at them. Right. So um, I really, that's, I think that's why I love this approach, this freestyle approach to stitching because um, it is stress-free and we're not pulling back out stitches and we're just working with it. And then over time, you're going to get better and better and better. Okay. Um, let's see what this one says. Are the fabric all the same size in the, in these kits? Yes, they're all fat quarters which is generally 18 by 21 or 22, depending on the selvage on that particular fabric. Um, so yes, there's six fat quarters. Sometimes I throw in a bonus. Sometimes I might throw in a panel. I might, you know, there, sometimes we kind of, we kind of switch it up, but um, in, in general, it's always six uh, fat quarters. Okay. Sometimes I like to gift my fabric fan club members a little something extra. Okay. Yeah. It's whimsical stitching, stitching that, and I don't care what the back looks like. That was the other thing. Um, sometimes she would kind of judge the back of my projects. It's like, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. Okay. Um, what does 200 stars mean? The stars is just something that Facebook does where you can kind of give um, someone stars if you want to. Um, you can just disregard that if you don't want to, it's kind of, I don't know, they, it's, it's, I think it's like a penny, um, a star, but, um, something like almost like a, I guess you could think of it like a tip kind of, um, but the stars do, the, the thing the stars do help with is if you get so many stars, Facebook kind of pushes out your reach a little more. Okay. Yes, it's worth it, girls. That's what Kim Baum is telling you. Okay, here's another question. Do you get the threads in the bundle when you join the Fabric Fan Club? No. And here's why. Okay, because I thought long and hard about this when we started the group, when we started the club. Um, I don't put the threads in with them because the threads are going to last you for a very, very long time. And there's a lot of times where I'm using the same, you know, I have my own favorite colors. So I may be using the same color three months in a row. Well, you don't need three spools. You don't need the same spool of thread coming to you all the time. Um, so no, I don't put them in. I let you pick and choose the ones that you want. And that way, if you still have, um, you know, if you still have plenty of black on your spool, well, then you won't need to get it. Right. You know what I mean? So, and some people like to use their own stash. Um, a lot of um, some people in our group are um, also cross stitch, so they have a lot of DMC thread and floss, so they may use that. Um, so I don't put don't put it in there. It's completely optional. You can use what's in your stash, or if you want to order it for me. We did realize 
about the first year into the club, we realized that these um, these particular threads, um, they're $1.99 each is what we sell them for, um, which is very reasonable, very, very reasonable, $1.99. Um, but not all stores carry this thread. Um, and it's, like I said, it's 100% cotton, 12 weight, and it's perfect for hand stitching. So within that first year of the Fabric Fan Club, we realized really quickly we need to be carrying this thread um, because it was hard for people to find. So we do carry um, the colors that I'll be using, but again, it's perfectly fine to, to grab from your own stash, okay? Um, okay. The cost for the Fabric Fan Club, Cindy's asking, it's $32, $32. There's no additional shipping, and that covers your, um, your six fat quarters that you're going to get every month. Also, all of the teaching, and I don't want you to discount that because there's so much that you're going to have access to. You'll become a private member. I'm sorry, you'll become a member of our private Facebook group. Um, that's our private hangout. That's where I go live. So you're going to get live instruction from me every single week. I go live in the group every week. Um, you'll also have access to um, the videos, the tutorials, the templates, the guides that I make you, the prep sheets that I make you, um, all of those things. So all of those things kind of get wrapped up into a ball um, for that price. And if you've been out and shop for fabric lately, you know that's a really good price. <laughs> okay, here's a good question. Jenny says, are past fabrics in packs or individual pieces? Both, okay? So if we can, if we can bundle some of them together, um, sometimes we will have them in a bundle. Sometimes um, we will have them just by the fat quarter. Um, we've realized it seems like it's almost easier for us to just keep them by the fat quarter, but there, um, you have a, the fabric fan club members have a private shopping page and on that private shopping page, um, on our, in our online store, um, it's going to say what, what the name of the bundle was, what the month was, the year was, you know, and then you can click into that and you'll see whatever fabrics we still have available from that bundle. There will be some that, you know, maybe we have four, but we don't have two. So it, um, um, we keep them in there as long as we can, uh, until they're just, you know, we don't have enough left or we can't get more and then we'll retire them. And we always make sure everybody in the group has a chance to purchase whatever they want before we retire a certain bundle. Okay. So I hope that helps. We actually do it both ways. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, Audrey, email us. Email us about email us about that and let us go in and double check. Um, there could have been a typo or something. I don't know. But email us and let us go in and double check that on your VIP. Our email address, by the way, is info at mistracycreates.com. Um, info at mistracycreates.com. Okay, and we'll take care of you, Audrey. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see what, um, is it Teta, Teta, or Tita, Teta, has to say. I have Parkinson's, would so love to join the Fabric Fan Club, but I'm trying to figure out if I have the fine motor skills to do the doodling with thread. I think I could do it with um, um, stickles or something like that. Uh, would that bug me? No, absolutely not. In fact, we have several people in the group that have had issues um, with their hands and it actually is a good thing for you if you can to try to keep using your hands. Um, my mom actually uh, um, was diagnosed with Parkinson's. Um, this was way back. She's um, since passed back in 2010, but um uh, it was really important. I remember the doctors telling her she needs to keep using her hands, keep using her hands. So I would encourage you to come in and try the stitching, especially this type of stitching, because it is so whimsical and freestyle and it doesn't matter that everything has to meet um, exactly, that every stitch has to match, you know, and things like that. But I'm, I'm going to encourage you to, uh, regardless whether you're stitching or you're drawing with a pen to do faux stitching. 
or whatever it is, I would encourage you to keep using your hands. Okay. That's so important. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Susan posted um, uh, the link again to join the Fabric Fan Club. Dorothy's asking, do we accept PayPal? I'm sorry, but we do not. Uh, we, we did when we first started, we had a lot of issues with PayPal and our customers uh, information getting hacked. So we just stopped using it all together. I'm sorry. We don't have PayPal anymore. Uh, yeah, even wonky stitches. Wonky stitches are my favorite. I, I It's funny that Diane, <laughs> she's saying that on purpose because I use the word wonky all the time. I like wonky stitches. It gives our pieces character. All right. Um, is there a list of the thread colors to use for each bundle? Yes, we post a list for you. We'll post pictures in the private. This will happen in the private group. I'm sorry, you guys, this will happen in the private group and we'll post pictures of the, the bundle. We'll post pictures of the threads and the felts, and then we'll give you a list. We'll tell you um, the, the, the numbers, we'll, the names of the colors, you know, all of that. We'll give you a list. It'll be posted for you in the group. Okay. And Debbie says she loves wonky. <laughs> Yes, individual fat quarters, but a lot of the bundles, like I said, you'll be able to go into that bundle and see what we have available, and then you can just um, shop off of that. Uh, na, na, na. Let's see, I'm going to scroll down here, see if there's any other questions. Oh, this is a good question. Um, Lenita says, if you could only pick a, a, a most used color of thread, which would it be? Um, I would tell you probably black. Black is just kind of a good universal color because it's great for words. You know, when you want your words, if you're doodling, you know, words or, or whatever. So I'd probably have to say black. <laughs> I use a little bit of black in every single, every, every single, you know, that's just kind of a staple. Actually, black. Kind of black and white to me are both good staples. Okay, good question. Um, yes, the email did go out last night, Jan. Yes, it did. So check your inbox, check your promotions, check your spam. It did go out last night. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm just scrolling through here. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it. It's a little after after 12 now, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But I sure hope to see some of you um, wonderful new friends. I hope to see you in the Fabric Fan Club or one of my other creative communities. This has been so much fun. So thank you for being here to watch the live reveal of Sincerely Sweet. It really, truly is a very sweet bundle. And we're going to make some really sweet projects um, from this bundle. So thank you for watching. Thank you.